What's up guys, this is Blaine here with Bar Shield. Uh, we're at Fit Club Columbus uh, here in downtown and today I'm here to talk to you about uh, dropping an empty barbell. Uh, so something that I see here at Fit Club a lot with our members, um, when they're unloading their barbells, you're tired, it's the end of the line, you're really not looking to uh, you know, go that extra mile sometimes, you're just trying to get out. Uh, but what you really need to do is be mindful of your barbell. So here's the, basically what I call the utmost sin of a barbell. Uh, you're doing the most damage to it. And you know you may not damage it today, but over time, you know, this done to it about 20 times or so is going to really hurt the barbell uh, long term. So uh, what I got here is a little five kilo plate. I'm just going to slide this guy off. When I hear that sound in a class, my my heart just sinks. It's the worst thing ever. So inside the sleeve here, basically we got little half moon washers. Uh, this is a Rogue 2.0 bar. So you got five sets. Um, 10 total in the the end of the bar uh, and those get bent um, over time they'll get bent and it doesn't matter how much you lubricate the bar uh, using bar shield or, or whatever you use um, that bar is no longer going to function properly it's not going to spin nice uh, so you want to avoid dropping it at all costs uh, this also goes for technique work I'm a big proponent of warming up with the bar or uh, newer people who are just learning the, the weightlifting movements using an empty bar. So anytime that you pick up a bar off the ground, say you get done doing your warm up or whatever, I've seen this as well, where people will just go here and then. That's also probably the second worst noise I've ever heard. At least it's landing evenly on the platform, but it's not meant for that. Just do go the extra mile, set your core, push your butt back, squat down to the ground and set it down nice and gently. That way your gym's equipment lasts a long time and your money can go to buying other cool new toys uh, or whatever. Cool. So if you have any questions, hit us up at BarShieldUSA on Instagram, uh, info at BarShieldUSA.com on the email, and we'll see you next time.